Alrighty, good morning guys, welcome back to another video. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Justin Menendez. I uh, do all sorts of inshore fishing videos and stuff like that. I know we've got so many new subscribers over the past like 30 days. I've, our subscribers have gone up like 25% or something like that. But thank you guys for joining the channel. We're gonna be doing some uh, residential fishing, some docks, mangroves, stuff like that. Fishing uh, canals with, uh, well, I don't know what I'm gonna throw just yet today. Today's video is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. So that is, uh, Carl's is actually an online tackle company where I get most of my tackle now and uh, so I'm gonna throw around some of their baits today and uh, hopefully we are uh, I think we're gonna try for like an inshore slam today so we're gonna go for the redfish the trout and the uh, and the snook and uh, who knows maybe we'll even find a tarpon on the way so uh, let's uh, go ahead and get started here and uh, head on to the spot All right, so right now, guys, we're gonna start off with one of these little uh, Yozuri 3DB pencil topwaters. Um, grab this on Shop Carl's. I think they're like six bucks. Um, they're a really awesome topwater, and uh, this is the bone white color, and uh, I think it'll do do some work on uh, some mangrove fish here. So we're gonna throw some mangroves and uh, see what we get. That feels like a snook. Yep, it is. Not a bad one, hooked him in the belly. <laughs> Come here, homie. Alrighty, first fish of the day right there. Probably just a little 18, 20 inch snook on that uh, white Yozuri topwater. So I saw a couple snook earlier and uh, they weren't taking the uh, taking the topwater, but this guy definitely did. He ate it 15, 20 feet off the mangroves there. I assume he probably heard it and followed it out, but go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Or at least just get the hook out of him. All right, just spin him around here and send him on its way. Oh, he's biting on my thumb. There he goes. Easy. All right. Well, that knocks out our snook for the day. Just need a redfish and a trout now. Let's uh, let's keep throwing this guy around. I think we can get a redfish here. Come on. There's got to be a trout or a redfish around here somewhere. Or at least another little snook. I don't know, I haven't been seeing that much bait, so maybe there won't be a fish here. I'll just have to find out. That was a good cast. There in the Mahara, so that's nice. So what I rigged up right here, this is a Guggenbait Saucy Swimmer paddle tail with a fathom inshore jig head in a quarter ounce. And uh, I think that's a 3.3 inch Saucy Swimmer. So yeah, we're gonna throw this guy around just for, uh, I don't know, an hour or two here. And then when the sun starts to come up, we're gonna switch over to our finger mullet that we got earlier and see if we can uh, get a fish. But for right now, we're throwing this, throwing docks, throwing uh, mangroves and see what we get here. Yeah. 
All right, I threw on the mullet here for a second. Didn't have much luck with the paddle tail throwing dogs. I'm gonna just toss a couple dogs with a live mullet. Big tarpon right here. Watch this, guys. Big tarpon under this dog. Big tarpon under this dock. Got him. No, it's a big snook. No. No way. <sighs> Hook never grabbed him. Popped out. Knew they were going to be under that dock right there. Oh, broke me off. Afraid it. I cannot get a break today. I cannot get a break. There's one. <laughs> I was ready for a much bigger one there, but I'll take it. I'll take it. The amount of fish that have just looked at my lure just now, I'll take this one. <laughs> He's barely hooked too. You can see right there, there's like tiniest little thing holding him on. All right, there he goes. Back in the water you go. There's my snook. Same dock I missed that one under earlier. Nice fish. Came to check the same dock where I missed that snook earlier on the live mullet. Came back like two, three hours later. And uh, snook are chilling back under there, so that's cool. Last couple fish have been <laughs> inhaling the saucy swimmer. As you can see there, I got the leader all frayed up there because he got it so deep in his mouth there. I'm gonna pop that out. Ugh. Ooh, need a pliers to get out that get that out of there. Whew. Already so finally after I don't know five, six hours of fishing, I stuck a decent fish. He's probably gonna be 24, 25 inch, but feels good. I think the light wind rolling under the docks right now is gonna produce some fish on the uh, on the paddle tail. So we'll keep throwing that and uh, let's go ahead and release this guy. All right, back in the water you go. Really bright yellow snook, biting on my thumb. There he goes, sweet. Snuck under here. Oh, I missed him. There we go. There he is. Oh, that's a nice trout. It's a real nice trout. That is not a snook. Come here, buddy. Gulf this too. Nice fish. Woo. Loves jumping this fish. Ah, oh, I shook out right there. <sighs> Didn't want to just grab him. I was waiting until he calmed down a little bit. Oh well. It was about a eh. Probably a 19 inch trout right there. Had a snook follow it out and then threw back in there and there was a, there was a trout too. Oh! Man, 
Man, that was awesome. Missed it the first time and then came back. This might have been the snook I lost. Oh, following cast. Woo! Come here, homie. It's a midday slay, I'm telling you. In the morning, they're tough to get fish to eat. Now they're now they're chewing on the paddle tail. So, super, super bright yellow snook right there. This one's probably 22, 23, but that was super cool either way. I uh, actually threw in there and I saw him swing on it and he missed it, so I just kept working and kept working. About six feet later, he hammered it, but pretty fish either way. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and lay him back in the water. I think I'm gonna have to retie here. It looks like the leader's all frayed up, but nice fish. Fat little snooky. See ya, homie. Check out that leader. Yeah, all frayed up right there. Just gonna go ahead and retie. I'm using 30 pound mono, so holds up decent, but we'll go ahead and retie. Oh, just missed a nice trout. Problem was I saw him come up and eat it, so I kinda, kinda pulled. Oh God. That's not a trout, what the heck? Oh my, I saw a trout come up and eat it and I pulled a little early because I watched him come up and try to eat it, but <laughs> there's a snook comes out of the shadow there, a little guy. They're fired up right now. All the little snook are so fired up. <sighs> little, little baby snook. Probably 16 inches or so, but cool fish. One of these docks, I'm just gonna pull a freaking giant tarpon or snook out. Let go. Snook of love sucking on your thumb. Ow. <laughs> Let go. There he goes. See ya. I don't remember if I said this, but this is the goby color of the saucy swimmer. It's kind of similar to like the pinfish color in, uh, in Z-Man terms. Uh, so it's like a dark green back, red speckles, silver belly. I like it a lot. I guess the snook like it too. That was awesome. I just nailed the boat lift. <laughs> okay. I see a behemoth trout, guys. I'm gonna try to grab the, uh, like a behemoth trout, like possible 30 incher. I'm gonna try to grab a finger mullet real quick. Where did he go now? Where did he go? I put my head down for one second. Where did he go? Right as I pick this up, I see a red fish. Here's the trout, here's the trout. Turn around and see if I can intercept him again. He's freaking huge, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. He just took off. That was like an eight pound trout, at least. At least that was an eight pound trout. I know you guys didn't see him, but. That's the biggest trout I've seen in a long time. Like a long time. Probably four plus years I haven't seen a trout that big. Dang. Right as I saw him swimming out into the open, he, uh, I reached down and grabbed the bait and I probably made just enough noise for him to turn around and go back into the trees. I mean, I got one throw in front of him with the paddle tail, but he wasn't into it. All right, so my chest cam is, uh, dead and it's out of storage so if I catch something absolutely insane I will switch to this camera all right and check that out absolute mega snook no I'm just kidding but that is like a uh, little tiny snook I sight cast there and I'm gonna call the video right here so let me go ahead and lay this guy back in the water dang I just saw a really nice red swivel wave right after I let go of that snook but 
that is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was super fun to film. We were just fishing uh, some docks, you know, mangroves, residential canals, just stuff like that today. And uh, ended up pretty going pretty solid. We got like, I think like six snook. I don't, I don't remember. We missed that really nice one. Didn't really get the uh, tarpon out of the uh, docks like I wanted to. They were sitting there just... A little too picky today, but nothing we could do about that. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're a new subscriber, thank you guys for subbing and uh, welcome to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video.